Hi there, I'm Kunal and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to build upon the last couple of videos and begin talking about systems of linear equations. In the context of the SAT, you need to be familiar with systems of equations in two variables. This means your system will be of two equations, both involving two variables. So here we have ax plus by equals c and dx plus ey equals f as our system, where x and y are variables and a, b, c, d, e, and f are constants. They occur simultaneously and have the same solution. So a system of two equations can either have one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. And the three main ways to solve a system are graphing, substitution, and elimination. All right, so let's start out with the graphing method. This method is probably the most straightforward one, and it's where you're given the equations and either by hand or with your graphing calculator, you graph the given system. The solution to the system is the point at which the lines intersect. So this is our first scenario. We have y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x. And the solution is where those two lines intersect, or in this case, 1 comma 1. Two lines that have the same slope are telltale signs of the second case, no solution. As you can see by the graphs, y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 2x, they have the same slope and therefore have no intersection point. So that means there's no solution. Now our third and final case is infinitely many solutions. This is when the system is the same equation. So we have y equals 2x plus 1 and 2y minus 4x equals 2. They are the same line. So if you notice, if you rearrange the second equation and then divide by 2 on both sides, you'll realize it's also y equals 2x plus 1. So they're the same line. This means there are infinitely many solutions since the lines would be on top of each other. The next method we have is substitution. The goal of this one is to isolate one variable and then substitute that isolation into the other equation. So here we're given y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x plus 2. In this case, both of the equations have y isolated. So it's up to us which one we decide to substitute. But since we know y equals both 2x plus 1 and x plus 2, we can set them equal to each other. From there, we can solve for x and know that x equals 1. So now that we know x is 1, we can plug that x value into any of the equations to get y. So let's just take the y equals x plus 2 and substitute that 1 in and get y equals 3. So this means the solution to this system of equations is 1 comma 3. Now the last method we have is elimination. So as the name suggests, you're going to get rid of or eliminate one of the equations and solve. We do this by subtracting one equation from the other, making sure one variable cancels out. So in this case, we have 2x plus y equals 1 and 2x minus 2y equals 4. So if we subtract these, the x's will cancel out. So let's do that. This will leave us with 3y equals negative 3 or y equals negative 1. So from here, we can do what we did in the substitution method and plug in that negative 1 value for y. So we'll get 2x minus 1 equals 2, which gives you x equals 1 for a final solution of 1 comma negative 1. There you have it. Those are the three ways to solve systems of linear equations for two variables. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24-7 online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!